Good morning. This is Sonnet and I'm with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. Today we are going rummaging. We are up in the beautiful north woods of Wisconsin and we are going to hit the annual Phelps rummage sales. So I'm going to pick my mom up now and I'll bring you along today and we'll see what good finds we can get. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every Monday and now I'm doing bonus videos on Fridays of what I'm releasing. All right, let's go and get our thrift on. So after I picked my mom up, we were headed to the rummage sales and we ran into these two. I just wanted to share this little sweet moment with everyone. It was so cute. Uh, throughout the day, we kept seeing fawns with their mamas. That's what you can find in the North Woods of Wisconsin. So after that little encounter with the deer, we're coming into Phelps, Wisconsin. Here's Sweet Treats and More, one of my favorite places to get ice cream as we're entering into Phelps. And as we turn the corner, you can see there is North Twin. So now we're on our way to find our rummage sales to get our map and start looking for those rummages. So here I'm at my first location. Now I'm entering, I don't see much initially. Uh, then I see, <laughs> this is what I hate, make an offer. I hate that. Well, I made an offer and I scored big time. You'll have to see what I found. So this was one of the rummages. I ended up getting these two crates. They're super, super tall. They're actually as almost as tall as the chair. I got the chair, the caning is broke, but I'm gonna take it off and I'm just gonna put on like a round wood seat and probably recover it. But I love the chair, I think it's so cool. And then at the same rummage, I ended up getting this. You can see it's kind of like a secretary. And I think it may have had possibly a door and that there were shelves. But what I plan on doing because, well, I don't know if these are metal, but I plan on putting um, some different shelves in there. So there are holes. And so I'm just gonna pull those metal things out and put my own little metal tabs and <clears throat> clean it up and uh, it's very cool. So I well, look at that. Comes with bugs and all. Um, but I'm gonna clean it all up. The oh, and there's a a jar of something in there. I can just imagine what's in there. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and I don't even know what's in this bottom drawer. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, can I get it open? Oh my gosh, no. Anyway, all right. So the bottom door, I have to figure out how I'm gonna fix that too. But okay, so I ended up paying for the secretary and the chair, $5. And then I ended up paying a dollar for each crate. So that was one of the rummages that I went to. Oh, look at these, $5 each. Those are cool. What? That metal thing. Yeah. I am looking for a place to rent in the Phelps area. Also, have many types of doors and windows plus new heating duct work. Morning. 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 I don't know what those are for. Those? Those are lead bars. Yeah. What do you use them for? They uh, melt them down. You melt them down for fishing or Oh, is that what it is? Uh-huh. 
So after the rummages, we hit up the flea market. Just uh, not very many vendors, not a lot to pick from. I didn't end up buying anything um, that I felt I could flip or use in my booths. So here's the estate sale, and this is where I found a ton of great finds. I we came that later in the day, so a lot of items I had heard were already picked, um, but we still were able to find a lot of great stuff the first day, and then we went back the second day as well. So some of these items that you see in this video, I'm going to show you that I actually purchased the second day. Uh, I'm so glad I took this video so I was able to see if the items, you know, what was missing um, the second day as well after um, I had gone back and everything was half price. Thank goodness my dad had this trailer. After the three loads from the estate sale, I filled her right up and could take one trip home. Thank goodness for my dad. All right, so now that you've seen some of the footage, I want to show you what I all got. Uh, the rummage sales, there were 19 of them. They had a map. My mom and I ended up getting the map, and it was a bit confusing. We ended up hitting around 12 of the rummages. Uh, one of them was a bonus, so it wasn't even on the map, and I ended up buying it for rummages. So I showed you one already, uh, the one where I ended up getting that secretary desk or like, like kind of like unit and the two crates and the chair. There I spent $7. Then um, at the next place, I ended up spending 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, like $21, I think is what I spent. Um, so I will show you what I, I got at the second rummage. So I, I don't know why I love these, okay? I have these all over my kitchen. You guys know I'm decorating my kitchen, so I bought two of these. I did pay $2 each. I just love them. I know that they're for grinding now, I found out um, in that grinding tool. Um, but I just like them because they're wood. Uh, they just add a lot, I think, to my kitchen. So. Got those for myself. I also, I don't even know what this is, but it's some type of tool. I'm assuming like to fork, serve something. But I liked it because it has all this fun detail on the handle. So I ended up getting that from that same sale. And then I'm so sad, I wanted this for my kitchen. <laughs> it's like a, it's, I didn't realize it was not wood. It just, it's like resin and it was two dollars but it broke so on one of my future um videos i am going to try to fix this i'm gonna try to fix it and then i'm gonna unfortunately not leave it wood i'm gonna paint it but i'm gonna try to distress it to bring through some of the, the full because this is just like a full finish anyway so i'm gonna distress it um and try to continue to use it or maybe use a painted a different color. I don't know. But I liked it and I, I'm just sad it broke. Then I ended up getting two of these little risers. They're like little footstools in a way. They're kind of cute. I only paid a buck fifty for each one. And I'm always looking for different ways to display things in my booths. And I thought um, the color's not horrid, but even if I paint a more of a, a different color. Um, I just thought it would be really cool to use and they're very well built. So even if I sell them as like little footstools, I mean, I can definitely make my money back. So I got two of those. All right. And then the last thing I got from that sale was this table. And I thought it was, I love, if you can kind of see the, like it's all like, the finish is very cool. I paid $10 for it, and I definitely can get my money's worth um, from that. And again, uh, another really like, just almost like a display piece too in my booth to put up on another table. Um, definitely, I'm in no hurry to sell it, but I will definitely put it in there um, to sell. 
So that was at the second rummage sale. And I, I guess I didn't realize how difficult it was going to be to videotape at these rummage sales. Well, they were all very tiny. So it wasn't like there were big sales. So I'm trying to videotape. There were a lot of people at these rummages and the owners uh, or the people at the rummages that were giving, having them, they were all in there, like <laughs> really guarding their stuff. And I honestly, they did not have that great of stuff. So, but it just, it was really difficult to videotape. I mean, like here I am holding up my camera. Um, so I did get some footage at some of the sales, um, but then some I didn't. All right, so then we went to like an impromptu sale that was set up in a, just like a field. <laughs> she was supposed to be doing a flea market in Leona. It got canceled and we went. I stopped by and I got this crock. I thought it was really cool. Plus it had the lid, it was perfect. There were no chips. It, she wanted $8. I asked her if she'd take five. She did, so I got that. Then um, we went to another rummage and <clears throat> that was actually at a church. Nothing for my business, but I ended up getting this little Yeti cup and you could make a donation. So I put a donation in. and it, it wasn't a true Yeti, but it was just a little miniature. It was brand new. I paid a buck for it. Um, but then we went to another sale and at that sale, I scored big time. So I ended up getting <clears throat> all kinds of real fun items. So I got an old, um, like a lunch box. I thought that was kind of fun. I paid a buck for that. I ended up, I love old vintage sprinklers. I collect them along with the brass handles and I ended up getting this really cool one for a dollar as well. Then um, I ended up getting three of these. So in spring, I plan on doing um, another home market. And at that home market, I want to plant up different things as well. Uh, and so I ended up getting all of these for a dollar each. And I will be able to plant those all up. So I thought they were very cool. And then I ended up getting two of these. And I thought for a buck each, again, I love the coloring on that one. And I can plant both of these up as well. So a dollar each too. Uh, then I found this, I just love rusty stuff. It was a dollar, it just was really cool. I just thought to put it in my booth and give it a little added texture and just something different. So I got that as well for a dollar. Then lastly, I had seen a flip on another YouTuber's channel and uh, on Julie's channel and she got these and she made little risers with them. And I thought, you know, at the time I'm like, really, you're gonna use these for risers, but they turned out really cute. So I am actually, I saw a set of four and I'm like, I'm gonna try to do Julie's flip. So I got those. All right, so then that was at the next rummage sale, and that was it. Then we went to the flea market. It was uh, very well advertised. Every street up there, well, I guess they're, I guess road, if we're calling them, every road had tons of signs about this water, um, water's meat flea market. So we get to there, and it only had a few vendors. Most of them were handcrafters and not a lot of, you know, antiquers. So I ended up not getting anything at that sale. But then we were heading back. We were going to go to Eagle River. There's a bunch of different thrift stores in Eagle River. So we were going to go to Eagle River and we see a sign for an estate sale. So we decide we're going to check it out. Well, the estate sale had been running from nine in the morning and we got there around 1130. So right away, I find a little pot, it, which just says USA. It was $2. I grabbed that. Then we're going through and I find this little cutting board. I just loved it. It was $3. So I grabbed that. And then we're walking through further and 
we get out to this garage area and <laughs> my mom's like, oh my gosh, look at all this cool stuff. Like they had this big, huge house. Then we, it was more of like a garage and then like a, like a mother-in-law's mother quarters or it was just a separate entire house on like the lower portion of this lake. Uh, it wasn't like a, like a boathouse or anything. It was just off the water. It was separate. And in there, that's where I found the entire box of... Oh, my God. Okay. Yeti. Okay. So our machete, I should say. Um, I'm not going to need these. There are two huge machetes in there. Um, I better put those down because I'm very accident prone and I could injure myself which I already have when I unloaded the truck. But I will show you guys, I ended up getting this whole box of vintage silverware. And another thing that I do for my little small business, when I say it's eclectic, I do all different things. So I also hand stamp uh, jewelry. I just love it and I'm always, I like take spoons and hand stamp the spoons and the just all the old vintage um, silverware too. So I got the whole box. It was $10. Um, he said, how about eight? So I'm like, all right. So I keep on throwing this all in my pile. And I have to just show you though. This was so cool. It was a ginormous like ladle or spoon. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to somehow mount it or put it on something and use it like as a display piece in my kitchen or something, you know, just something fun for the kitchen. So I got that. Then I walk into the garage area and that's where you're gonna see, I found that big, tall, white cabinet. I got that for $10. And then I ended up getting the two dressers for $4 each. And then I ended up getting the white chairs. So in the end, I did pay supper for the white chairs because I found those later. I did pay $6 for that. For everything else, the first day then, my little pile, he charged me 25. So at the estate sale, I ended up picking up these three chairs. I loved them. They were initially $5 each. I just, I love how vintage they looked. I'm actually contemplating just, I think I might just leave them as is. I just love, 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 love. Just clean them up and just leave them. They're totally sturdy. I ended up getting all three for $6. So it was the very end of the day of the last day. And he gave me those. Um, I also picked up the two dressers. They're there. I did not know when I bought them that they didn't have a back. The side pieces too are a little bit rough. So, um, but the fronts are what really, like the drawer handles are so cool in the fronts and they are very sturdy. So I think I'm actually, I initially was going to sell them. I think I'm gonna keep these for myself in my workshop. Um, and I got those for $4 each. Uh, the one thing I'm debating if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to sell it is this very, very cool. It's all in the trailer still. We just got home. But it is that shelving unit that I showed. It has these very cool doors here and down there. One of the pieces of glass are broke. It does come with two shelves. I ended up getting that for $10. And that... I might actually put on top of one of these and use in my workshop. And this actually just comes right off this ugly top. So um, I ended up the first day at the estate sale paying $25 and I got these items. And then I'm gonna show you what else I got. Two dressers, that tall hutch, and all these other little items, 25. And so that was the first day. Then the second day we went back because we found out everything was going to be half price. And that's where I made a haul. I paid $75 for everything. Uh, the first day I did find these two benches and I'm going to show you 
Um, I did a video on benches a couple weeks ago and there were two benches that were I painted blue. They were Ethan Allen and these two benches at the sale reminded me of those and I sold both of them instantly. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go back. They were $30 each. If I can get them for 15 each, I can definitely make my money back. So they were there, we got there early. We were the first ones in line. Told my daughter, come on, we gotta get in there. Told her exactly what I was looking for and we grabbed them. So I just started putting piles together. Like I had a pile and I just kept on packing it up. After I got home and I re-added everything, he definitely gave me a better deal than what I should have paid. I should have paid a lot more, but in the end he's like, oh, how about 75 for everything? I'm like, okay. And um, I ended up buying a very cool bone arrow set for my nephew. They initially wanted $20 for it. They gave it to us for five. Um, so he took that. He also wanted this little saw for six and then we got it for three or that's what it would have been. Um, so those are items that he took. Now everything else I'm gonna show you is what I got. So I ended up getting this cool vintage frame. Um, I loved it. I love the detail. It's in really good condition. There's nothing really, no big, huge chunks out of the detail at all. So I got that. Then I ended up getting, and I did not see this the first day. So it's always good to go back when things have thinned out. Um, but this old scale, and I'm going to use it in the kitchen. I liked it. I like the color. I like it. It's black. Um, initially $10, so it would have been five. All, again, all part of that whole conglomeration of the 75. My daughter, now keep in mind, they had at the end of the day, they must have boxed up a bunch of items. So everything had like a price like this. So my daughter loves softball and I'm gonna be at many softball games all summer long. Um, but she found this and she wanted it because of the softball. It's a vintage softball and um, it has, it's just really cool. I don't know if it's worth really anything, but I got the whole box for $2. It came with two other balls, a glove, and then this, and it came with a bunch of other junk that she's like, I don't even want any of that. I'm like, throw it all away. But we also got a poncho, in case it rains. So that was all $2. Then I ended up getting this really cool vintage stool. And it was $2. I ended up getting it for a buck. So got that. And then I found this. Because I got the other one, I thought they would look really cool together. And then I also let, you know, with my little white planter. So this was regular 28, so I ended up getting it for 14. It's in really good condition. I liked it a lot, so I grabbed it for myself. I always try to pick some stuff up for myself too and not just resell everything. All right, and then that whole cottage core thing is really in right now. Um, bringing like the indoors or outdoors in and like all that vintage um, prints with flowers. So this set of three prints were $8. So I got these three for four. And I think I'm going to do something with the frames. I'm not really, I don't really like the little stripe. I don't know. They're not horrid, but I'm going to definitely do something maybe with the frame. So I have this set of three, I thought for sure. I could resell. Actually, there's a price tag on the back here. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Where is it from? Marshall Fields. They're from Marshall Fields. So that's probably how old they are. Marshall Fields. I can't see though. It's kind of faded. All right. So I got that. And then for myself, I ended up getting this. Um, container. It's uh, Hager and it's signed on the bottom. I got that. He said, how about a buck? I'm like, all right. So I put it in my pile. And then they had all these glass jars. So I'm going to make a whole display with these. 
possibly even like stamp on them or do something fun. Who knows? I got like this one was three, so it was a buck fifty. This one was a buck fifty as well. So I got those big jars. And then I ended up getting all of these too. So I really liked the amber bottles. I just thought they were fun. Got those for each a buck. I just thought all these different, I love glass and putting just one like sprig of some type of greenery in it looks so cool. So I ended up getting all of these as well. Now I was practical with some stuff too. So I, I thought, oh my goodness, this looks kind of cool. It's called a hydro hose. And I have this huge yard and hauling a big hose to the backyard. So basically I guess you just pull it out and it's a hose like this and then you somehow reel it back up. I don't know, I'll have to figure that part out. But anyway, so then you can reel it back up and that's how you store it. So um, they wanted 12 and I got it for six. And I have to tell you guys, this was my very first like true estate sale. I had been to one a while ago with my husband and it was so overpriced. Everything was so outrageous that I was like, we walked in and we walked right out. But this one was so fun because everything seemed to be somewhat reasonable. They really wanted to get rid of the items. So, um, and I loved how they boxed everything up. So this is what I'm gonna show you next. I ended up getting this whole basket. It was all full, all kind of, kind of stuff. It was regular 12 and so it would have been six. So in there, there's like a vintage funnel, which I thought was fun. I thought too, somehow I could even plant that up for my spring sale or do something fun with. Then I had just a ladle, like one of those ladles. Okay, do I need this pan? No, it's gonna end up in the garbage or like donate it to the one. I don't need that. I don't need this ugly little box either, but maybe I could do something with it. Um, but I ended up getting some more jars, uh, one blue ball, and then just two others that I can paint up and reuse those two. All right, and two more amber bottles. So I got those, which I thought were very cool, and I love the shape of them. So I saw those, so got that. A little basket, I can plant that up or just resell. I can even paint the straight or the, you know, around here for something fun for fall. Um, another blue cup. So that, that blue is very in. Then some more vintage, I don't know what this is. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't know. I'll have to ask my husband. Put that aside. All right, this little cup, I can probably plant that up too, maybe with like a succulent um, for my fall, or spring show. This is really fun too. I didn't see that in there, but that's probably going to end up in my kitchen of all my vintage stuff. Oh, another little bottle. So I'll put that with my little bottles. Oh, another little cup, and this time it's got the white with the blue. So. Probably plant that up. Oh, look, it came with a lid. A little sign. Still say something. I'm gonna have to look with them. Probably a magnifying glass. My eyes are getting terrible. You told me after I hit a certain age that I'm gonna need readers. So then I have the, all these different fun tools. These will probably all stay with me just because I really love all that. And then another really cool vintage spoon. So I thought that was kind of fun, so I'll put this in there. Um, and I think, I'm not really sure, but this is some kind of tool as well. So anyway, so I got all of that and I got this really cool basket. So I'm gonna resell the basket for sure as well. And uh, so I think I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth out of that basket that I paid six bucks for. Now, the next thing that we found, my nephew, he saw this box and I had an accident. And because, I probably should have said no, but he wanted the ax. So it was $8 and I saw a couple hammers in there and just a few other items. So I'm like, 
why not? You know, what the heck? So out of the whole box, it just has a bunch of junk. But basically, I got it for myself because it had for him. Um, for, I thought for $4 for that darn axe for him. Oh, and a saw. There was an axe and a saw that he wanted to out of it. So he ended up getting two saws and an axe for me and a bowl. Um, but it had a couple different hammers. I'm always losing my tools. I set them somewhere and, I, and no matter what, I can never refine them. So I'm always reorganizing and in the end, I probably have 10 of them. But I got a hammer light for myself. This is the coolest thing. <laughs> I don't know when I'm ever gonna need it, but this is the longest screwdriver I have literally ever seen. So I thought that was kind of cool too. Got that. And then there's two other different hammers as well. Um, and I thought, well, they're always it's always good to have them. This one the head's kind of loose, but so I probably could use it for something. So got all of that. There's a lot of other sh junk in there that I'm probably gonna toss. So last thing, <coughs> it's really dusty in here. Um, the last thing was a gardening bag. And at first I walked right by this because the stuff on top, I wasn't interested in, but it was $10 and I ended up paying five. Um, and the reason I wasn't interested in it was, I was not interested in getting these little plugs, these little fertilizer spikes that just didn't, you know, and then there was like a, this, I don't even know what it is, some kind of sanitizer thing. I don't know. Uh, that, it just had really weird stuff on top. Okay. But then I started digging. And when I dug, oh, like, what are these? Oh, these are like some kind of mosquito coils. But it had a nice, you know, like a tool. I thought I could reuse that. It had a bunch of these too, which are really nice. Um, nice little claws, shovel. So I definitely could use that. But then I got down to the good stuff. And this is, to me... I know I could, I would spend more than $5 on this. So it's like an old claw. So that's what made me buy it initially. But I got all this other, and here's another claw. Uh, the vintage shovel to go with the claw. So they're like, it's like a set. So that was definitely worth the $5 to me. And... I don't know, a bunch of cutters. But basically guys, I bought this whole box because of those <laughs> shovel and the claw. And I got a lot of other little tools that I can use in the garden. Um, and I also saw another one of those like little hoses that were, instead of being on a spool like the other one, it just, I thought, well, I can try it, see if it works. If not, I can, I probably junk it. It has a sprinkler as well. So all of that in that box. Oh, here's another sprinkler guys. So it was just interesting how they put everything together in a box and priced it like one set price. So um, just to really ensure that they got rid of everything, but I want to show you the bench that I got. Because I don't think I actually got good footage of it when I was at the place. So I'm going to show you it. All right. All right. Well, I'm just going to grab the whole camera. And there it is. So you can see it was regular $30. And I liked it. Same type of wood bench um, that were, you know, that the other wood benches that I ended up getting um, out of the other ones I picked out of the garbage. So I hope you really enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about maybe more videotaping more inconspicuously. Um, but uh, I just hope you all enjoyed it. I can't wait to show you what I do with all of this awesome stuff. And uh, this next couple weeks, I'm gonna be really, really busy, but I'm gonna try to continue to get out my videos every Monday and Friday and just stay on target and tasks. So um, if you do like videos like this, definitely hit subscribe. 
turn on or hit that little bell for the notification so when I do release a video, you are notified when the video is released. And uh, next couple weeks, I'm gonna do some, I'm actually gonna try to do the baking soda technique. Uh, I watched another gal do it. Um, I tried it um, on my own before. It worked out pretty good, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna flip some items with that, do some different painting techniques. I'm also gonna do a thrift um, flip or like a thrift to treasure flip on a bunch of items that I recently got. So be watching for those videos, and I wanna thank you all for watching, and have a great week. Bye.